This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. If you go to theyoungturks.com slash GoDaddy, you get the best promo codes in the world. Uh, yesterday we did the story about a woman in Pennsylvania who fell into a mall fountain because she was texting and wasn't watching where she was going. Well, that was a fun video. We had a good time. But now we're starting to learn more and more about the woman, Kathy A. Cruz Morero. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we find that she had a shady criminal past. Okay. <laughs> so she actually worked at the mall. Um, and back in 2007, she was accused of basically stealing her coworker's credit card and using it to make $5,000 worth of purchases uh, at Zales Jewelry and Target. Shady. Shady. She was also um, involved in a hit and run back in 2009. Uh, she... <laughs> which is interesting because she was driving with a learner's permit. She didn't have her license yet. She claims that um, she f panicked after she ran a stop sign, hit a car, and then that car hit three other parked cars. And she didn't know what to do, so she left. It is a shame! A shame! So she's getting into trouble all over the place. She's looking at... Um, house arrest for six months because of uh, the credit card fraud and um, Basically, that case. I don't know what happened after the hit and run, but we have a video uh, that Jr. found that but I can't. But can I just watch. say, there's also four other theft charges against her. No, clown of the earth is Kathy A. Clown Marrero. Yeah. Okay. Shoplifting, and, retail theft. Oh, come on, come on, come on, right? And now she's suing the mall because her clown ass fell into the fountain. Okay, but she has an explanation. Let's go to the video. A friend of mine from church. She texted me, and I just decided to text her back. I thought I had a long distance. I didn't. My boot hit the edge of the fountain and I fell over. I couldn't see anything that I could grab, so I just went forward. The next thing I know, I'm just seeing pennies and coins in front of my face. <laughs> I love the pennies and coins in front of her face. I love that. I'm surprised she didn't take them. <laughs> she's, like, she's like, pennies and coins for the win. <laughs> and then my second favorite part is, it's okay, because she was texting somebody at church. Right, right, right. So, I love on. how she added that. She's so holy. You know? Do you know that the security guard got, who filmed that got fired? He got fired, yes. Uh, the head of security at that Pennsylvania mall, I don't know if he found out for sure which security guard it was, but I know a security guard did get fired for supposedly or allegedly leaking that video online. And you know what? All of this uh, new development made me realize something. Yesterday we were talking about how she shouldn't have gone to the news and talked about the video because no one could determine that it was her from that, you know, that grainy video, right? right. Why yep. is she coming out and revealing her identity if she's so mortified and embarrassed? It's because she wants money now. Uh, of course! Uh, no, 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 but of course. it had nothing to do about getting revenge on the people who embarrassed her. It's all about money and she probably wants to get money to make up for all the money that she's losing in all of these court battles. Uh, obviously, I knew that from the first second. I mean, come on. Look, you're telling me, why would in you the sue the mall? Are you no, no, no. freaking know, know. crazy? In the beginning. She's a scam artist. She took somebody at work. Her friend at work trusted her with her credit I know, cards. I know, I know. And she robbed her blind. Jenk, we did not know that ye yesterday, okay? okay? I know. Yesterday, she came out in the news and she sounded, she sounded like she was about to cry. She was mortified and embarrassed. So part of me kind of believe that she did feel embarrassed and mortified. She felt like the world was laughing at her and she wanted to get revenge. And of course she's also looking for a little money. But now I realize it's only for the money. She wasn't embarrassed, has nothing to do with no, it. No, she probably thought that it was a score. <laughs> like the minute that she saw it, oh my God, a million and a half on YouTube. I'll pretend to be embarrassed and you know, and then uh, you know, I'll say I was texting somebody at church and we'll make money, we'll make money. It's a good way, like because for her, mm -hmm. before she had to rob people individually, this gives her a chance to rob the whole mall. You see what I'm saying? Look at how these, some of these are alleged. You make up your own mind. Can you tell if I've made up my mind? A lot of this. Not buying it. A lot of this isn't alleged, right? Especially yeah. when it comes to past things uh, that she's d done. When it comes to her coworker situation, she was charged with those crimes. When it comes to the hit and run, she admit to it. She says that she panicked and she didn't know what to do. So she's guilty of a ton of shady things in the past. So, uh, and it's interesting because the attorney is like, well, this, this current case has nothing to do with her criminal past. Oh, no, of so course not. So let's ignore that. Yeah, let's completely ignore it. Uh, should she get any money from the mall? Hell no! And the security guard, let him go! 
Let him go. Bring him back. He did all of us a favor. And she, by outing herself, she did us a favor. Watch out for her. Don't lend her any money. And this is what happens when you get greedy, okay? Nobody knew who you were before. Now everyone not only knows you and laughs at you after falling into a fountain while texting, now everyone knows all your dirty business, okay? Right. We know what you did in the past. We know your criminal record. It is a shame. A, a shame. shame. It is a shame! A shame! The gentleman will sit in the fountain. <laughs> Jenk, if you want to buy a domain name, you want to know the best website to go to? Uh, I already know it. GoDaddy.com. First of all, they have 24-7 customer service. If you want to download GoDaddy's free iPhone, Android, or Blackberry app, boom, on your phone instantly. And if you go to theyoungturks.com slash GoDaddy, you get all of our promo codes, like TYT1 gets you 10% off of all your orders. TYT3 gets you a .com domain for only $7.99. You can't beat that.